Hello and welcome. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Tundu.com. Uh, Tundu is an online resource and it has a lot of great features. Today we're going to be focusing on how to create a cartoon, just a quick comic strip. So first things first is you would need to sign on, which I already done that and I logged in, and you just go to Tunes and then Create Tune. Once you've done this, it, uh, it gives you an option here of you could choose one panel up to four panels um, on how to tell your story. One big one, one small one, it's up to you what you want to do, it just depends on what you need to tell your story. Today we're going to work on a simple little picture just to give you some basics. Um, this is your working area that comes up. Um, we're going to use these first four boxes which is characters, settings, props, and text. And then there's some tools down here to uh, move things around. I'll show you that in a second. So let's pick a theme. Um, we'll do a little scene from Little Red Riding Hood. Call it Little Red. Give that the title right here. And we're going to do the scene where the wolf comes to Grandma's house and delivers the goodies. And I think Little Red is taken aback and realizes this is not Grandma. So first things first is I dropped in a background and I'm going to pick a character who looks like Little Red Riding Hood. She's wearing red. It's pretty close. Um, once your item is highlighted here like this girl is right now, Little Red, I'm going to shrink her down a little bit. You can go to these toolbars down here. It gives you lots of options. Um, always check down there because you never know what it might have for you. So there's an emotion I'd like her to be a little surprised. Um, and she's a little taken aback because there's the wolf. Now Instead of always going through all these pictures, which is good to go look through them because you get a lot of ideas, but sometimes you can just type in your keyword search right up here, like the wolf. So I'm looking for a wolf, and I found one. We're going to drop this wolf in here. Uh, let's flip her around. Um, change her facial expressions, and maybe enlarge her a little bit. All right, now the house looks kind of bare, so let's just type in bed to put a bed in the background. Um, it might not be exactly to the story, but it's pretty close, and I think most people, whoops, that's a little big, uh, will understand what's going on here in this quick tutorial that we're giving. All right, and Little Red needs a basket because she just came with all the goodies. Here we go. Drop a basket over by Little Red Riding Hood. Um, a little too big, so we shrink it down. We're going to move it into her hand, and maybe shrink it down a little more. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is we've used background characters, props. Now let's use some text. We're going to have the wolf and little red talk to each other. So they're going to, she's going to say to the wolf, Grandma, what big eyes you have. And the wolf will respond, all the better to see you with. So put that in. Here we go. And you could resize this. We can move it around a little bit. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. And then we're going to say the same. Drop some over here. All the better to see you. Now, it doesn't matter that it's not in the right spot. You can move it. Um, I kind of like it to be a solid block, so I'll shrink it up a little bit. And maybe a little larger. And I'll put this over to the wolf where she's speaking. So now we just did a, one little scene to explain Little Red Riding Hood. One thing. So what we're going to want to do is save this. So how do you save it? You go up to Tune, uh, main menu right here, and here you can hit Save or Save As. The best is Save As. Um, since we already put a title in there, it's called Little Red. Um, you can put a description, um, Meeting Grandma. And let's see, down here it says Let Others Redo. That means they could work on your work if you'd like them to or allow others to purchase this from Tunes. I don't think we need to. Now you're also given some share options here. Um, you can share with the friends by emailing or your teacher, um, your parents, whoever you'd like. Uh, keep it private. That's for you or publish to the world. I'll hit publish. And then it's all ready to go. I could print it or go to the page. So let's just get out of here. And let's see, if you want to look at your file, here it is, little red right here. We just did that one. I could open it. It would actually bring us back to this page. Um, I hope you enjoyed your quick tutorial on how to use Tundu.com.